Why are humans the only animals tortured by hemorrhoids? This enemy of the butt is the excruciating price we paid for walking on two legs. The moment our ancestors stood up, they freed their hands, grew their brains, and began to conquer the planet. But this gift came at a cost. Our upright posture means that gravity, combined with the weight of our entire upper body, constantly crushes the veins in our lower rectum. Making matters worse, our anus is squeezed between two massive gluteal muscles, adding even more pressure. Blood flow struggles to return to the heart, causing the veins to swell, buckle, and fall out. A four-legged animal, by contrast, has its anus and heart on the same horizontal plane. Their blood flows back effortlessly, and their rear end isn't supporting their entire torso, so they're safe. And then, we made it infinitely worse with modern life. First, our toilet habits. Animals in the wild poop in three seconds flat, always alert. We take 30-minute paid breaks on the toilet, applying constant, crippling pressure. Second, our diet is a disaster. Our anuses are still adapted for the high-fiber roughage of the Stone Age, but our mouths are addicted to the soft, processed foods of the Industrial Age. This leads to dry, hard stools, forcing us to strain. That agonizing feeling, like pooping glass shards, followed by the steel wool sensation of toilet paper, is a uniquely human misery. And no, penguins don't count. They may look upright, but if you see their skeleton, you'll realize they're in a permanent squat. They don't stand, they squat stand and they spend most of their time swimming anyway, so the pressure is never an issue. In the end, this is our evolutionary wound, the painful tax we pay for the very thing that makes us human.